Hey guys, it's George. Welcome back to my channel. So today's Worth It Wednesday is testing out fake nails from Shein. Um, I still don't know if it's pronounced like Shein or Shein. I call it Shein. I don't know if that's right, but anyway. Um, so today's Worth It Wednesday is going to be testing their fake nails because you can pick them up for so cheap on their website. And I just want to know, like, are they worth it or are they just a bit rubbish? So if you want to see how it goes, then please keep watching. And if you do enjoy this video, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Okay, so I picked up three packets of their nails. Um, these all were featured in my um, Shein haul, which I filmed a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I've got like the flame tips. I've got the cow prints. Um, and I've got like some snakes and leaf ones. Um, and I'm not really too sure which ones to start with. And I think they've actually all got like the sticky things in them and not the nail glue. Um, so I don't actually know which is better or worse for your nails. Um, like I don't know if the glue's worse or if the stickers are worse. Um, so we'll open them up anyway and then we'll just sort of like try putting them on I'll show you like what they are like to put on if they're easy if they're hard if the nails feel like bad quality um, So we'll do all that and then I'll also wear them for a couple of days And I'll like report back and let you guys know if they lasted if they were worth it Or if they just like fall off because I thought for nails this cheap like I want to try them because obviously we're in lockdown Can't get our nails done. So if they do work then amazing. I can stock up on like nails for really cheap um, anyway, so let's get into it. So the set I'm going to use today are the little flame um, pink ones. So let's just take them out. Um, so these come with the little sticky things and a nail file. So they don't come with nail glue, just the sticky things and a nail. So I'm going to quickly size them up and then we're going to stick them on and sort of I'll let you know how they feel and all that sort of stuff. Also, before we get started, I feel like I might get some comments asking where my rings are from. So just really quickly run through. Um, so these are both so these are both from ASOS. This is from ASOS, this is from Tom Sabo. Um, I don't actually know where the top one's from because that was gift. The bottom one is from Bond Street. Um, there was like a little market stall at the station, so from there. And then the middle one is from Monica Veneda. This one's also Monica Veneda. This one is Rain London. Uh, this one is ASOS. This one is Monica Veneda. And this one is also ASOS. Um, so like a lot of rings, so I thought I'd quickly go through that before people ask me in the comments. Right. So I've stuck one of the like glue things on and I'm trying to peel it off but it peels the whole the whole thing off my finger. I don't know if you can see that but like I'm trying to just peel the top layer off and it's peeling all of it off. Um, so I think I'm going to go grab my own nail glue because like I can't just peel the, the top bit off. Um, so like I would maybe suggest buying some nail glue so we're gonna take this off and then get some nail glue and try sticking them on this is the nail glue i'm gonna use um so i'm just gonna paint all my nails and then stick them on so i'll let you know how it feels after i'm done So, first impressions of gluing them on, like, obviously, I think glue is definitely the way forward. So, I would really recommend gluing them on if you're going to buy from Sheen or Sheen or whatever it's blooming called. Um, so, first impressions is they look quite cool. Like, from far away, they look cool. But you can definitely see, like, ridges here, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but, like, they're obviously stuck on. They're not very thin um at the tips and also i feel like the way that they're shaped they just make it quite difficult to actually match your nail shape if that makes sense so like i don't know if you can see on my thumb but like the way it's shaped it just doesn't really i don't know it's hard to blend them into your normal looking nails um but obviously for like every day like they're quite cool um yeah so i'm gonna file these little scratchy bits down um and then we're gonna 
We're gonna just do some admin and see how they hold up. Okay, so back to me. Hello. Um, so my first impressions is that like they were super easy to stick on, like they're just like any other fake nails. Yeah, they do feel quite like thin and plasticky. Um, but like I think from far away you can't really tell that they're fake. Like from here, like can you guys tell that they're stick on fake nails? I don't know. Um, if I just go a bit closer for a second so you guys can see a bit more of them. Like I do think they look quite nice, um, but obviously the closer you get to them, the more that you can tell they're fake. I do feel like, you know, when you wash your hair and you get like hair stuck under the nails, I do think that's gonna happen. Um, so I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow. So what I'll do is I'll like wash my hair and see how they're doing like tomorrow and just like fill you guys in and let you guys know how they go. Um, but for like first, very first impressions, I think for like £1.49 for these fake nails, like you're literally getting what you're, pay you're paying for. Um, like the, the designs that they had are quite cool. Like a lot of them are quite trendy, like the whole flame at fring fingertip print ones like the ones I've got on now like are quite cool and they did have quite a lot of small sizes um because like my pinkies are really little um I don't know if you guys can tell they just come forward um but like my pinkies are quite little so I think they do work quite well um but yeah I think £1.50 really good happy with them so far but obviously we will just do the wear test but then it's not the most accurate wear test because i did use nail glue and not the stickers just because the stickers aren't worth it i don't think um i would say definitely just invest in some nail glue um they do feel quite thin and quite flimsy so yeah i think when i look at them like this like i can see the ridges and i don't like that but we'll just see how they go we'll see how we get on and i will check in with you guys tomorrow um and keep you updated on how these are going okay hello I'm back so it's been about okay so today is Tuesday and I filmed previously I want to say on like Friday so it's been a few days since I filmed the nails and obviously as you can tell they're all off um so obviously with like glue they do just come off naturally like that is actually just how fake nails work um but I did find how the sheen like nails were they didn't really cover the bits of the cuticles like they were very lifted which meant obviously water could get under there like hair got stuck on it like when you're washing your hair the hair goes under it and that all helps to contribute to them like lifting um so i thought i'd just jump back on like running through my final thoughts if they are worth it um personally i think if you want to pay one pound fifty for a pair of nails like absolutely worth it like they're cheap they look quite nice and they last for like a while yeah like i think most of mine lasted for, like two three days um and then i just picked the rest off because my hair kept getting caught under them and it's just really annoys me when that happens. Um, so like they were fine, they weren't the best quality nails I've ever had, but obviously you're paying £1.50 for a pair of nails, like what, what would you expect? Um, so my last like personal thoughts are that like if you want to try them out and like try some new stars and they're great, like they're really affordable, really cheap and yeah, like I think that just says what it does on the tin, like they're cheap nails so they're not going to look amazing, they're going to not fit perfectly, they're going to probably fall off um and come with things that don't stick like do you know what i mean um i would definitely recommend using nail glue though and not those little sticker things because those sticker things didn't even stick to my nails um so i don't know how long they would have lasted with that but that is actually my final thought it's like i think it's worth it if you just want a pair of cheap stick on nails and know they're not going to last forever but if you're looking for like quality and like really good fit ones then you need to go somewhere else and pay a bit more money is my overall thoughts um so i hope you guys did enjoy this second episode of worth it wednesdays um i'm really enjoying filming them so like if there's anything else you guys want me to try then please just let me know in the comments um be more than happy to try things out and yeah i'm really excited for the next one um so thank you so much for watching as always and if you did enjoy this video then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up also feel free to check me out on instagram i will leave my little instagram bio here um and also it's always in the description box so yeah thank you guys so much for watching as always and i'll see you next time